what is happening everybody it is here i never thought this day would come the Me world and... tree oh, oh. is at your disposal oh. young balder okay lady relax i'm trying to do the intro for my youtube video too human one of my favorite games I know it's not the best game ever, but it doesn't matter. I love playing this game. Me and Khalif played the co-op for hours and hours and hours. I still stand by this game, but I have not played the campaign in literally at least, I think, the launch week the game came out. So look into the well and see the future unfold. I, Tales of glory okay. and sacrifice wait to be discovered. Now, this lady is really pushy, so I'm just going to hit start campaign. We're going to go in. We're gonna return to two human. Hashtag three human, please, Phil Spencer. God. I will be doing an entire let's play of this whole game. Front to back. We're going to see every part of it again. Nine hundred clicks east of the wall and counting, Alpha Wolf. Steady and heading 207, pilot. Yes, sir. We have a reading, sir. A large structure. That's our target. Set deployment for two miles out. We are almost in range, Lord Balder. Stow it, trooper. Yes, sir. Past the wall, boys. We might actually run into something uglier than a berserker. Don't count on it, Wolf. Monsters tell stories of me to frighten their children. That guy looks nervous as shit. Like, oh boy. I don't want to sit next to Todd. Prepare for ABC's separation. game is loud. There's no audio settings to lower the volume, so I apologize in advance for blowing so everyone's ears out. Harness trooper? Uh, no, sir. Sir? What is it? You ever been out this far? <laughs> Humans this far beyond the wall generally don't come back. It's a good day to die. You always say that. It always is. Let's go, wolves! Move, move! To go to work, wolves. Woof. Now that right there is a power opening. All clear. Second wolf. We'll set up operations here. Yes, first wolf. Bjorn, Jansen. Set up a security perimeter and rotating patrols. As Odin bids. Yeah, yeah. I want communications and first aid up in 10. Devin, Sigmund, get the gear unpacked. On it. Sure. Let's get this command post up and running, wolves. So, uh, really quickly, I am playing. I'll show you my uh, the class and build I am going for here. I am currently a defender. So I got a sword and board. Meant to be a tank style character. That's who I'm rolling with.
Game has very unusual camera controls, and right stick does not move the camera, for those who don't know. Right stick attacks in any direction. I've never seen anything like this. As I said, you are one of a select few. You know what this means, don't you, Lord Balder? Have respect, brother. There should be no secrets amongst brothers in arms, Second Wolf. This is a hall of heroes. In places like this, your people honor the valiant dead. It is a place of mournful respect. The start of heroic journeys into the afterlife. A tomb. We suspect it has fallen into the hands of Grendel. That is why we're here. Grendel? A monster. And my favorite thing about Two Human was uh, Silicon Knights, obviously, Legacy of Cain, Blood Omen, Soul Reaver. Uh, say what you will about Dennis Dyack, Eternal Darkness. Really great storytelling in their games, especially environmental storytelling and world building. You know, they always build an entire world around whatever the central plot of the game is. And uh, in Two Human, you can tell they really had a labor of love because they go all out with the storytelling in this game. And, in a lot of ways, it was really ahead of its time. Nothing but ghosts here, First Wolf. The place has been dead a long time. There's a lot of moments like that where cutscenes are dynamic. Huh. It's a long way down. I can't even see the bottom. You will if you don't shut up, Private. And obviously there's some jank in the animations and all that, but... That's a little bit of taste of how the combat rolls. It's uh, like I said, it's very different. This is the right stick. You attack in your direction. You do a heavy attack. You double tap in a certain direction, and that'll do a juggle, which lets you jump, an air juggle. Like left stick and right stick, same direction. You do a smash attack, and then the right trigger is your gun, and then it becomes like a uh, quasi dual stick shooter. Very interesting concept because of how they handle hack and slash RPG combat. That no game really has ever tried to replicate. Two humans still pretty unique in that regard. It smells bad. The slow death is soaked into these walls. Then revel in the smell. For there will be a lot more of it before we're done, boy. Great. Something to look forward to. What in Helheim is that? 
Why in Odin's name are we here? Lord Balder, Lord Heimdall has requested your presence within his hall. I'll inform him that you're on your way. See what I mean? The game has a lot of non-linear storytelling. Um, what's really interesting is if you play the game in co-op, none of these elements are present. The co-op version of the game is a very different version where you go through the same stages and order without any storyline or cutscenes while you're there. I thought it was a very unique way to handle the, the split between the storytelling aspects of the game and then just the meat and potatoes, hack and slash, getting loot, leveling up mechanic. I have had many humans call my hall the Cliffs of Heaven. Ironic that it represents our world as it once was. Every day I am reminded of what we are fighting to restore. Every day I am reminded that we fight for the benefit of mankind. Welcome home. How are you feeling, brother? I would feel better if we had caught the beast. Any trace on the arm? It is definitely of machine origin, but of a design and composition that is totally new. You said it consumed one of the bar's patrons? Yes. It bit a man's head off and appeared to drink blood from his neck. Why would a machine do that? For nourishment, perhaps? Maybe it's part organic with synthetic components. Without the whole specimen, anything is but a guess. I will take an expeditionary force to secure one. There will be no expedition, Balder. Our attention needs to be elsewhere. Hell has dissolved the Pact of the Fallen, sending task forces on unimportant quests. We are humanity's protectors. We cannot sit idly by as they are eaten by this monster. Very well. A small expeditionary force shall be put at your disposal. guys seen some of the story stuff you've seen some of the combat now let's look into the rpg portion of the game so avery there's five different classes you always play as balder there is no customizing balder how he looks you just have your five classes and that's kind of how it goes um and you always have to start off with this first thing and then you can branch off in separate paths let's just put our points into here the next time we level up we'll be able to choose one of these three different specs to go with you can respect, but it does take a certain amount of money to do so. Um, and the game does have a full stat page. So you can see that I'm a defender. You see what your class bonuses are. Hammer shield proficiency, knockdown immunity, aggro taunt bonus. 
You get you get hard data. You know, it's not like Destiny or any other games. There's not really a gear score in this game at all. This is kind of before that started becoming the norm for most, you know, gas games or RPG games like Destiny and Division and stuff like that. This is more of the old Diablo style. It's just raw data is how this game works. Um, and it does get pretty deep. You do get some significant things. I'll show you the equipment screen here. Um, you know, we got a full gear system. You can salvage things. You can auto salvage. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's try out these new pistols I have. Because why not? And that's kind of the flow of the game. And like I said, when you play co-op, you have to think of co-op, it was actually like adventure mode before adventure mode. If you're familiar with adventure mode from Diablo, it's pretty much here's the world, here's the fighting parts of it, but we're not going to put any storyline stuff in there for you to mess with. So it's pretty unique uh, in that approach. Yeah, but it's very, it's it's literally adventure mode without it looks like a vehicle being called that essentially because you could even go into the co-op by yourself and just choose to blaze through the stages and fight enemies without having to deal with the cutscenes and story. So this game is very story heavy, very story heavy. Also, you fight a bajillion of these enemies with different colors on them. with guns so each trigger fires each weapon independently first wolf the goblins activity has reactivated portions of the facility those trams funeral boats an ancient way to Malala the one that we will be taking Also, I will say this version of the game is definitely running better. Like, getting into the screen and out of it is uh, much faster. Okay, healing effectiveness, one. There are visual differences in armor and things like that. Uh, let's try out the longsword. Let's just switch up the uh, weapon variety. Um, that screen is pretty good explanation. Uh, uh, this level one helmet seems pretty good, so... I just keep that on for now. And actually, I think this default armor is like a pre-order bonus uh, from the game back in the day. Uh, let's do, that's right. There's charms that you have to do quests for to unlock. Runes are kind of like the gems that you slot into weapons and things like that. There's blueprints, armor blueprints. Yeah. Now I'm starting to remember myself. Like I said, I haven't I played so good. in a long time. I should probably level up my character. Let's look at the skill trees here. Increase the chances that damage from a killing blow will be completely deflected. 100% of melee damage taken is reflected back at the attacker. Increase the chance of inflicting ice damage during melee attacks. That sounds good. Let's do that. Oh, 
Are, are, are we gonna make it through this? Let's go! I see something. There's a bunch of them! We'll be fine as long as we don't run out of ammo. Come on! Pour it on! Don't let up! game also and I, a lot of it could just be me hyping up the past but it has hands down one of the best sound effects for like, different rarity drops i've only ever gotten the highest tier item drop in this game one time ever i was playing one night with my friend cal he plays a lot of games with you've seen him on the channel we'll be doing co-op in this game as well trust me we got it to drop one night after farming this one factory level that I remember back in the day was like the farming spot. And the sound effect that happened when we picked it up. Great work, man. reading on that. You need a reading. It's freaking huge. I think we're in trouble. You're learning fast. I don't think this thing is going to die. We need to find a weak spot. There's no other way. The game is loud. I'm gonna have it to adjust some sliders and things. The game doesn't have any in-game uh, tools. Oh. Very well. More lore. Small expeditionary force shall be put at your disposal. Ah, Sister Freya. Welcome home, Balder. You've been greatly missed. Balder has captured an artifact belonging to the enemy. I was thinking that perhaps the Norns could aid us. If you could take him to them. Of course. I doubt there will be a problem. We can go now if it's important. Balder seems to think so. I will leave you in Freya's capable hands. It's good to have you back. For a while, many of us thought that you were truly lost. But a few of us had faith. And you were one of them? I'm used to waiting for you. Freya. If I had not already made my vows to Nyana. What's been and gone is done. But perhaps we could start anew. If you need someone, I'll be here for you. I will keep that in mind. Come on, we don't want to keep the Norns waiting. Look into the pool. Concentrate on the surface. You will feel a small tingling as you do. Don't worry about it. It's just the handshaking protocols kicking in. Just relax and watch. The Norns are fey creatures, always together and speaking as one entity, but divided into three distinct personalities. So try not to stare. 
Most of them don't like attention. Remember that this is their world, not ours. There are some things even gods should not intrude upon. Yes, and you would come into here and you would find in these uh, Yggdrasil alternate realities. I don't think there's any combat in these areas. It's just exploring. Kind of maze-like. And every time you find one of these, like, uh, you know, loot boxes, they pop runes out. Uh, and loot. And the runes are what you would use to inscribe onto your weapons and armor to really push it when you're playing on the higher settings. If you guys have ever played, like I said, Eternal Darkness, which is also a Silicon Knights joint, then you are familiar with the runes that they use for their magic and all that kind of stuff. You see, you see, you see a lot of elements of uh, Silicon Knights legacy in this game. Their storytelling, their world building, their often unconventional control schemes and methods and ideologies. It's all in here. You know, like I said, obviously, technically... The game had some issues specifically with animations during cutscenes. It's probably like the biggest offender. Um, it's the part of the game that suffers the most. And who knows how much of that was due to studio troubles or troubles with the engine, especially the lawsuit they had with Epic. You know, I'm not here to like say who was right, who was wrong, what happened. Um, it's a fascinating story, obviously, the fallout with Dennis Dyack and everything but you got to remember back in the day this was being billed as like a major xbox exclusive it was supposed to be like a blockbuster trilogy in the works for uh, already over in the a decade like there are screenshots of an old opm where you can see this game running on a playstation one and it looks very different um it's just kind of a miracle it came out at all and then after playing this it stands the out Lord so much still even right now 2019 Freya. Long has it been since you brought another. And this must be Baldur. Mm, we definitely need to spend more time together. He is still recovering, wise ones. Do you not speak, beautiful? Are you gifted only with looks and not with a tongue? Or is it that this witch holds some spell over you? I am gifted with a great many things, wench. Oh my, he has a fiery heart. What business brings you to our sunny realm? We seek information. Baldur hunts a beast. It appears resistant to most of our weapons. It is unlike the machines we have fought before. It hunts humans for food. We can assist you in your quest for knowledge. Take this. It is a blueprint module for something that may prove useful in your quest. Among other things, it will allow you entrance into our world. You will be able to visit us whenever you like. Alone. Thank you. Your generosity is unmatched. It shall not go to waste. Your apprentice speaks out of turn, Freya. Perhaps he has more than just a touch of the weird. The weird? It is their way of divining the future. Your weird shines like a beacon to us. Though in truth, all living things share the same fate. Beauty. When an organism's purpose, no matter how trivial, is in harmony with the rest of creation. And then the great wheel turns, and all creatures are swept along towards their inevitable deaths. Beauty. And then death. That is the universal weird of the living. It is only in the moment between beauty and death that individual weirds differ by the choices they make. The future is open to us, Baldur. If the future is visible to you, will I defeat this beast? This Grendel? <laughs> you must discover that for yourself. My lord, we found something you might want to check out. First wolf, form a perimeter while I consult with the Norns. Perhaps they can see a way forward that we do not. You heard him! Form a perimeter, you runts! We don't want goblins creeping up on us while he's on business! What's he gonna do? Pray. He prays to Odin that he may bring battle. 
I said, very ambitious game, and there's a lot of little weird stuff all over the place, especially back then, back in 2008. Mind you, I love the Matrix movies, and I love the trilogy. I don't just love the first movie. So as someone who is like super like interested in the architect and his nonsense, this game is literally that, like all the way. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about this. Yeah, you get these little abilities that you could only use when you're in cyberspace, aka the Matrix. We see you have discovered how to use our gift. Many of the wells in your world have gone unused for centuries. Neglected, like so many other things. This has left areas of our world inaccessible. Use the spider to revitalize these forgotten wells, wherever you may find them. And we will ensure it is worth your while. It's not quite the same uh, world shifting that you saw in Legacy of Kane Soul Weaver. It's not like I'm warping the world in real time, but the things you do in cyberspace affect the real world that the gods and stuff inhibit. Any idea why we're out here? Inhabit? Inhabit? In in ex exit is the exhibit. Yo, dog, I heard you like okay, uh, cyberpunk with your Norse gods. Combat mission, not a vacation. You did fine, pup. Thank you, sir. I ain't the first wolf on the market. So that little meter right there in the bottom right, uh, next underneath the ammo where it says XP, that's your combo meter. So I notice you notice when I'm in fighting, I'm sometimes sliding between enemies. The higher your combo meter goes, the further you can slide. And trust me, when it's up there, you can slide across the entire level at enemies, and then you could pop off and use a combo meter for special attacks. Kind of like when Batman, when you have to use your combo meter to enable a takedown. Ruiners not exactly look like that, but it's a similar concept. Uh oh, we got red goblins now. I'm fighting like that. on our quarry Terry's near Ooh. <laughs> you see a lot of combat going on let's just keep going on this train man I want ice attacks let's just keep going I have a bow staff. I almost forgot you can get a bow staff in this game. Stronger weapons. Salvaging is really easy. I mean, you just do it right from here. I don't want to try a bow staff. I 
think it's going to be a while before I replace the armor I have because uh, I think the pre-order armor is just so strong initially. But eventually you do uh, surpass it and you will have to swap it out. So. Okay, here we go. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Now we have our charms. And you have to equip the charm and then do the quest for it to make it active. Kill leaders. Yes, because I'm always going to do that. Collect blueprints. Yes, I'm always going to be getting loot. You can also see your other uh, your runes here, which you can slot in. Currently have no blueprints, so let's just get back into the game. We are only human, my lord. We need to rest. As you will. I will take the fittest men with me. The others can rest while Odin watches. On your feet, lad. Great time is over. Secure the high ground, men. We're not moving. Let them come to us. Set up a kill zone. Intersecting lines of fire. Fire at will. Okay. Barely broke a sweat. <laughs> that guy didn't do anything at all. All right, so this weapon, not really feeling it. Uh, let's try. Uh, let's go back to um, the old hammer. Let's try a rifle. And also, like I said, I don't, I don't know how many episodes I'll be putting up with this a week, but every week there will at least be one new episode of a two Time human let's play. This ain't the safest place to be. I hear that. And I will be doing co-op stuff, so you can see how different the co-op version of this game is. Now we go back to the real world and we go through that one doorway and hopefully you made the uh, choice that leads to pretty good loot. Also I leveled up so now I think I have my first combat skill. So now I have my first spider ability that I can use. I 
want to say this was the hidden room. Yes. You can find these hidden dungeons that are like basically combat challenges. enough to get the good loot at the end these challenges are actually pretty difficult um they're a lot easier once you get to like late game stuff and you have a lot more powers at your disposal but early on these combat challenges can be kind of a blow up you always get one chest just for completing it but the second one is where you get the really good stuff Yeah, I'm, I know I'm going on about a lot of stuff. Old man rambling here, retro gaming. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this look at two human. I think I'll even go in and do a retro review of this for Rectify Gaming. Now we have to go back. Yeah, and this is kind of another issue of this game uh, that really didn't sit well with the ADD crowd is that you can't really sprint or anything. So you're just a lot of rolling, a lot of walking through big empty environments after battles are over. But, you know, what can we really do about that now realistically? that that was just for a blueprint i'm telling everybody wait till you hear what happens when you get like an epic item to drop it's insane i think this is the first time you come across an area like this where you have the multiple doorways so i think i have to basically unlock all three doors before it'll let me progress the storyline for this section. Let's take a look actually at that blueprint. I'm actually curious to see if it's going to be better than this helmet I have. Oh yeah, this is going to be a lot better. And like I said, this game, if you are an RPG person, if you love loot and, and customizing a build, I know the combat seems like there's not a lot of depth to it, but the build quality and the way you can change your characters, like there really is significant differences. And the five classes, despite how similar the combat actually plays out, do feel very differently, especially when you start getting to the late game stuff. Uh, so this is level 30. Oh, wow. This is much better in every way. Um, hammer damage, total armor, blunt resistance. Can't make it quite yet. We're getting there, though.
I was, I was gonna die there. Game does get difficult. Trust me. Like, as simple as the combat seems, and there's a lot of people blasting this game back in the day, but you do need to use the technique. Like I said, if you click in both sticks, like I said, you get the hammer throw. You know, the double tap for the juggle. Like, all that stuff is definitely necessary uh, as you proceed. Because this game throws a lot of enemies at you at times. And this roll right here, really clutch because you have a lot of invincibility frames. So rolling through AoE uh, ground pound attacks or missile impacts is a significant part of the gameplay experience later on. I think now I can get out of here. Obviously, as you can see, when you play the game long term, this becomes more of an issue. The amount of skill tree stuff, um, just to kind of cumbersomeness of going into your inventory and out of it. A little bit rough. Permission to kill some bad guys, sir.
That felt good. Okay, I think this might be the boss room. Let's, uh, before we hop in here, let's actually put some new gear on. Wow. That looks really good. Let's try it. Ooh, look at that thing. All right, got some rare stuff here. Empty rune slot. Let's see if I can, if I can insert a rune. Yes, I can. Sweated duration, strength, total armor. Put hammer damage in these bad boys. Oh, whoop, oh, whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. Better total armor. Battle cry damage increase. We got new helmets. Also, there is visual differences. They do look different. A little bit less, but better. Yeah, to keep that. Get those. Get a damage. That's what I want. Can't wear those yet. Oh, experience bonus. I definitely want an XP bonus. Like, for sure. I love this job! Also, these Marines are, uh... Bad as Halo 1 Marines on easy. They're not doing nothing. We need to pull out of here! Hold back! Take cover near the entrance! You don't have to tell me twice! Ah! I think I can actually get a a battle cry now. Yep. Oh no! I messed up really bad. No, I wasn't paying attention. I'm a dum dum. I have to respect the tree now for that one. Mistakes are made. Man, fuck this fence. Mmm, the plot thickens, my friends. Check out that uh, hidden room. See what's in there. Time to kill something. Let's get our men of Midgard. Make your stand here. Show They're fine. For Odin. Take cover. You gotta be kidding me. We're gonna die here. You know that? Shut up and fight. As you see, a lot of battle arenas hidden around. Almost every little secret area you find, 
will take you to a battle arena. Hello. time doing one of these rooms and getting a better item out of these little loot boxes that you smash rather than the chest from beating it but I think that's what we're gonna end it right here my first look at two human everybody like I said I will be playing more of this game uh, if you're all interested let me know if there's other two human fans out there let me know I'm always interested to play some co-op with people if you're on I am Namtox on the Xbox on YouTube just like here same name same spelling um, a lot of fun going back in. The Xbox backwards compatibility program has been fantastic. And I never thought in a million years it would be 2019 and I'd be playing Two Human live for everyone here. So thanks for watching. Have a great Father's Day, everybody. If you guys see this on Monday, sorry about that. But have a good one. Adios.